Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We are in front of the Royal Palace, having just had the fight against Malos. In the previous episode, I lost track of time and didn't realize we were like 20 minutes over the hour at the end. So, um, I mean, we'll see how, mo how uh, far we get in this episode. I said before that, you know, we do the main quest and do some side quests also, but thinking about it between episodes, I'm not too sure about the side quests. Because it sure seemed like we were able to just jump straight into the Mallows fight without doing much in the way of side questing. Maybe we don't need to do that in New Game Plus? Lord Adam, to think that Torn and Seal would fall into the Aegis's hands, he was even scarier than I thought. I was no match for someone that evil. There's no way I could have stopped him attacking the city. But I'll still regret it to my dying day. Oh, I'm sorry, you must have come to report to the king and now I've held you up with my chatter. I won't hold you up any longer. What good was your militia? They could not halt Malos, nor even safeguard the seal from his clutches. I have no excuses. Adam. <laughs> Majesty, this is a deep dishonor. I beseech you to lay them low, that the people may have faith in government. Majesty! Brother, your advice is wise. Your Majesty. Please, wait a moment. Adam only sought to protect your realm. Silence! Is your voice more important than the King's? But what of you, Zeta? What of me? Look first to yourself, I bid you. W what do you mean? Surely, Adam sailed the ship into a rocky reef. But if he were the bow, you were the stern. Y your Majesty, those are bitter words. It was Adam's vanguard that let slip Malos. Would our army have succeeded with certainty, brother? In the hour of need, where were they? We set the defense of the people as our highest goal, your majesty. Our soldiers guided the townsfolk to safety. While Adam's militia flew, though rashly, into the breach, and the brave dragoons of noble Hugo wagered their lives as mere trifles for our nation's sake. But, but I... It unfolded thus. If honor took its natural course, the sons of Torna should have stood their ground. <sighs> Mark their honor above their frailty. You saw the battle with your own eyes, did you not, my brother? I, I did. And how did you think it? Words can scarcely describe it. It was unlike any mere human struggle. I fear I could not report it justly. Indeed, brother. Hmm? It was a fight beyond our ken. I too saw it with my own eyes. Our torn and crafts of war would have been doubly doomed against Malos. That's... Is it not folly to assume that our army could do what Adams could not? Your Majesty. Noble Hugo, my brother forgets grace and gratitude. Our nation hangs over doom like a ripened fruit. You and yours are our final ray of hope. Will you offer us aid again to avenge ourselves on the Aegis? We came with that very intention, Your Majesty. Didn't we, Prince Adam? Yes. Majesty, 
If it must be so, I will expend my life for the future of the land of my forefathers. While we're here, your name is Laura, is it not? Uh, me? Y yes. Your work impressed me deeply. No, I... Yet, you are no knight, bear no peerage. Yes. I'm from a settlement in the distant borderlands. I serve with a mercenary band. I knew you for a warrior. Good Laura, I would like to recognize your valiant labors. The title of Knight of the Realm, it is yours, if you would accept it. Me? A knight? Laura, my congratulations! I can hardly believe it. Me? Come now. A title is a mere decoration. Surely you learned that from me. I hope it will raise your spirits a little, Laura. Humble Laura, I have a request I must make of you. This day, the people of our nation shiver in the darkest of shadows cast by mighty Malos. But I bid that you seed a flower of hope in this shadow-mired land. I hope that I can. Your Majesty, I'll do my best. Well spoken, brave Laura. We shall anoint thee as Lady Laura tomorrow in the plaza before the palace. Come on, we shouldn't keep our old friend waiting any longer. Time for us to make a move. The torn and womb, he said. Is that going to be inside the Titan's belly? You'll know soon enough. This isn't the time for games, you know. I probably said this the first time, but yeah, that's my reaction to that kind of thing. Why can't he just say yes? <laughs> it would have to be a cavity of considerable size for a Zerda to fit inside. It would. We should head for the front entrance to turn left. That way we'll come to a back gate. If we head down past there, it should take us to the wound's entrance. Okay, we better catch up to a Zerda then. Okay, rather than bother with side quests, let's go straight to Azurda and then see if that allows us to immediately pass on to the next part of the quest. Let's talk to her and get her on the community list. Yes, he's doing terrible things. In Indol they say the Aegis is a divine revelation, but he looks more like a monster to me. If only that brave knight were here now, Lady Ornelia. Years ago, back when I was just a girl, there were stories of a great knight in a place called Hyber Village. Lady Ornelia was not just strong, she was kind. And exceptionally beautiful, so they said. Well, considering the stylized anime look, I guess she looked okay. Okay, yeah, lots of side quests have popped up. I could go around and do them. But, no, let's hurry on over to Azurda. Okay, there's the fish farmer side quest. This is new. Broadening one's horizons can only be a good thing. This is going to lead us into another cutscene? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, just the fact that the back gate was open, that's it. And this, I know what this is. These guys purchase bonus experience from us to give us fancy items. 
Alas, alack, tis you, noble folk, is it not? Our brave and gallant kin who have taken up arms against the Aegis. I am but a humble traveling bard. I boast no skill at arms, but I yearn to immortalize the bold deeds of others that they may inspire and edify forever. Would you kind lords and ladies care to share stories of your conquest with your humble servant? Naturally, I can offer recompense. Wow. Okay. 232,000. I would have thought I had more than that, but I eh, guess not. Oh, truly? That is regrettable, to say the least. I feel strongly your tales would strongly resonate with the hearts of many, both in this age and those yet to come. I remain here, my lords and ladies. Should you reconsider, I'll be waiting for your tales eagerly. Well, I could reduce their level to get more bonus experience. Meh, 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 Oh, sorry, me not see friends there, but now me see you, me sense friends have wonderful stories to share. If friends be so kind, would please to share some exciting tales of adventure? If do share, I happy to share something in return. Very special dessert from Secret Stash. For a love donut. Well, let's see what it is. Ah, such thrilling tellings. I use as inspiration when creating new songs to make listeners all tingly. As promised, is reward for friends, is very special dessert. Arts recharge point four, specials recharge point eight. That is pretty good. Okay, if I put one of the other teams in the lead. Ah, darn it. Let's put Team Adam in the lead and see what happens then. About the same amount. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's have each of them buy one donut. Treasure trove. The suspense is killing me. Well, here we are. We made good. Sorry, Minoth, you got cut off there. What an incredible place. It's the matrix of our Titan. What does. When the time comes, this is where blades come to be reborn as titans. Huh? You mean we'll all become titans someday? It's nice to be here again. After 800 years. Were you born here too, Azurda? Hmm. After all, I was a blade born from the Tornan Titan. Of course, I don't have any memories of that time. 
Once a blade becomes a titan, they can live without being bound to the driver who awoke them. One day, they may come to watch over their children as the very ground beneath their feet. And the fleeting bonds become eternal. It's the basis of the Tornan Creed. Eternal bonds. So, what now? Malice said he was going to wait. But can we really believe him? I don't think he lied. Why so? He was enjoying himself, that's why. I'd say he's having way too much fun to stop right now. He said that humans long for death. And that he was happy to oblige. Benevolent servant. <sighs> mm. So, any plans for the rest of the day? You've got your award ceremony tomorrow. Best not get carried away. Oh, right. Jin's got a point. You can take a walk around town if you'd like, but in all honesty, we'd be better off standing by at the inn. Yes, we don't know when we might be next called upon. So no one's in the mood to go out. Well, I don't blame them. Am I the only one nervous about the award ceremony? I don't even know what to wear. Well, let me think. So that one bard guy sells ultimate weapons, which we can use to uh, up our arts strength. have a few still. In fact, how are we doing with that? Huh. Well, I can watch for this one later. Put that up to the max. What about the rear guard arts? Hmm. I would rather improve the switch art. Oh, I'm 10 WP away from that instead of these. Okay, all of these are at max. You've no. got it. You've got it. So is that. Okay. Well, now that all of the important stuff, Adam's important stuff, is at max, might as well start working on the unimportant stuff. This one's second nature to me now. I can keep on going, especially at this rate. This one's second nature to me now. Yeah, the rear guard arts. Eh, they don't really do much. They have really low recharge times and low damage ratios. The Vanguard Arts and the Switch Arts are far more important. Okay, his Vanguard Arts are all level 5. The culmination of years of sovereignty. Okay. Cancels debuffs from enemies. Any of them? Okay, that's actually useful. The recharge time is ridiculous, but with this power, the way is clear. Okay. Eh, no, let's not do this yet. I was thinking, give her an ultimate weaponry just to get the switch art up, but no. 
After all, there's still the blades. Vanguard arcs are all good. Polished to a high shine. Okay. Could improve two of these. Hmm. Increase damage to toppled and launched enemies. That's yeah, meh. But yeah, might as well go for it. Power is for you. It's not like I have anything else to use this WP on anymore. Tempered by discipline. Ah, okay, so that I'll keep done. giving it my all. And she has exactly enough of this. I knew the practice would pay off. Okay. No one is hurting my friends. Yeah. I'll make you even prouder. Doing pretty well here. I'll make you even prouder. This will work better now. I'll make you even prouder. Okay. I can improve one more. Let's see. Boost power of next art. Reduces 25% of aggro. Increases accuracy. Huh. Yeah, might as well. Might as well go with the aggro reduction. This will work better now. Okay, yeah, uh, she's at max for all three of those. My flame burns ever brighter. 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 All right, bridge is coming on pretty well, and now finally, Jian. Vanguard arts are all maxed, so my technique has improved. All right. Okay, that'll do for now. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. And let's see. Aren't we intrepid? <sighs> I knew there was a treasure trove back here. The suspense is killing me. All right. So we need to go to the inn. What a pleasant stroll. You remember our destination, don't you? Yes, Aegean. All well, right, let's talk here we to are. Fred here. We made good time. And yeah, we want to rest. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Since you're a Knight of Torna now, there's no danger of getting in trouble for resonating with a stolen core. What should we do with that? Nothing, I think. I think I'll keep wearing it. You went to all the trouble of making it for me. Yeah. I mean... Huh? Someday I'll die, 
and just like that you'll return to your crystal. Even if you forget everybody, at least you might be able to keep the mask that I made you. Laura. But I imagine that day's still a long way off, so don't worry. If I were a praying man, I'd pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. officially a torn and driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. He does keep wearing the mask. It just takes on a different use. Adam's star is rising. It seems that the people love him. and naught but the fruit of the king's whimsy in an obscure woman. Ah. Yet if only he were not the driver of the Aegis. You'd each have your just share of dignity. Or is it really true that... Certainly, I did give life to Malos, but when he acts, it's divine will. The destruction of the world is the will of the divine. Indeed it is. Malos is the instrument of destruction. Making the Architect's will imminent takes many able hands. There's some unpacking to do there that I just thought of. But in another minute or two... It may be this is exactly what they wanted. Become titans. Have a longer life with humans. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. I was just remembering the previous time you said that. I did? My reply was, how about you? And what do you think you said? Uh. I don't wish for forever. All I want is my life with her. That's plenty. Ah. Spoken like a true blade. No one can begrudge you that. I wonder how it was for you. Well, honestly, 
I suppose I may well have been just like you, Jin. Still? Still? Being like this isn't so bad either. After some years, or centuries, you find yourself ready for new relationships. I came to realize that. New relationships? So, Jin's mask. It takes on a new meaning in the base game, but a very similar one, also. He still uses it to hide that he's a blade. But it also has significance because it's... You know, a memory of where he came from and the promise he makes that leads him down that road. And then there's Prince Zetter. It, it occurred to me it's a very lucky thing that he wasn't able to resonate with Mithra's core crystal because Malos is the way he is because he got influenced that way by Amalthus, what would Mithra have been like if she'd been influenced by Zetter instead of Adam? That could have been bad. Well, anyway. Jin, there you are. Where have you been? The capital's outskirts. I wanted to pick some ingredients. Oh, you are joking. This is the capital we're in. It's packed to bursting with high-class nosh around here. Why are you still going around foraging in the dirt? On the other hand, Jin's cooking really is unparalleled, and there's a certain appeal in making food yourself. Yeah, okay, that's... that's spot on, actually. Oh, I spoke briefly with Azurda. Oh, really? What did he say? It was a difficult subject for me to wrap my head around. New relationships? No, I'm more than happy with what I have right now. Alright, time to draw up some plans. To get the seal back, we'll have to make our way to the Tornin Core. The question is, what then? Malos implied that we still have some time. Mithra seems to believe we can take him at his word. You can, yeah. He's enjoying this, is he? Damn him. I know how you feel, Adam, but perhaps we should be thankful. His own hubris has allowed us this chance. We'll use the time we've got to prepare for the battle ahead. Right. We need to be stronger still, or we'll never make it through this. The citizens are in fear of what may befall them. I believe you are the best equipped to give them the strength they need, Laura. What? Me? Yes. You are properly a torn knight now. A knight is not called upon solely for their skill in combat. It is also their duty to instill courage and hope. You must hold your head high and serve the needs of your nation. The needs of my nation. Feels like the whole world's resting on your shoulders, doesn't it? It's not, though. Remember, you're not the only one fighting to protect this country. We're a strange gaggle of misfits, I admit, but we'll carry the, that burden with you. Torner lives and dies by its people. We fight for it together, every one of us. Right. Give me a moment. I know there's not much time, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, we got the innkeeper. And we got a few uh, yellow faces over there. The palace. Oops. Didn't want to close that window. I wanted to see the rest of the yellow faces. Elite lover adventurer Nalsaz. And Big Dreamer Dolala. And Arius Palace Guard Clemens. 
Okay. So Dalala, huh? Said she was in the inn here. Aha. Hello, drivers. Hello, all. Dolala have request. Maybe, if possible, will you be friends with Dolala? Dolala is number one fan. Friends not only first class drivers, but have big time night Lady Laura in party. So want to talk lots with you. Get to know each other well. Meh, you will. Wow, Dolala so very, very happy. Dolala will definitely become kind and gentle driver like you. Thank you. Well done, us. Okay. So the palace guard. And... Over in the Orem storage ward, Nelsas. There's Nelsas. Knights, loyal knights, knights, beloved disciples. Well, 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 you finally earned the right to stand shoulder to shoulder with me. I will now give special permission for you to henceforth address me as beloved companion. So don't hold back, just call me beloved companion now, says whenever you like, okay? Okay. Huh, you just want to be normal friends. Oh, well, okay, I think we can agree on that. Friends, ha, huh, friends, that has a nice ring to it. Think I can get used to this, friends. That's so sweet. Okay. So what exactly do we need to do then? I guess we do need to do side quests because it's not giving me a main quest. Huh. Alright, maybe I can finish up with Tyler here real fast. I just need to give him a whole bunch of fish. I'd like you to trust us with this. Okay. Oh, look at that. Stop the moat.
Okay. Yeah, just gave him a whole bunch of fish, and you really shouldn't have. That one's done. Another problem solved. All right. Now let's go back to the palace and talk to Clemens. Get him in the party. Congratulations. I was pretty far back in the crowd when you were being knighted, but I still saw the ceremony. There hasn't been a driver who could control the Paragon of Torna for a long time now. We're so lucky to have you, Lady Laura, and you too, Jin. I'm working as hard as I can to help you defeat the Aegis. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Thank you. All right. Now, Niddle here, if I remember correctly, he wants us to clean things up. Ah, Prince Adam, long have I longed for the chance to speak with you properly. I'm really sorry, but we're actually pretty busy, so... No! Wait! Please wait! That's a bit rude, isn't it? I mean, I'm constantly going out of my mind with worry about you, Prince, and now this? It's... it's... it's heartless is what it is. And after I've pledged the entirety of my heart and soul to you and Torna... Hours later. And another thing, I've been at your side since your royal childhood, and you've always been so, shall we say. Cut to the chase already! Ahaha. Uh -huh. Right, yes, fine. Say what you wanted to say then. Huh? Ah, right, indeed. The earlier attack has caused a lot of damage to the capital, and the rubble is still being removed. In particular, the residential and shopping wards are taking time to clear, but we're short-handed. So I... All right, I see the problem here. How about we help out, then? Egad, would you really? You said you need hands, right? Well, the prince and the rest of us have some perfectly good ones right here. She's right. I'd like to do my part also. I thank you, kind sir. Huh? You... Aren't you the Ardane... Shh, let's not tell the whole country about it, shall we? With this many helpers, we should be done in no time. Quite. Let's clean up the wreckage from the residential and shopping wards and let's be quick about it. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Don't you worry. I've got this. Bit off more than you could chew, eh, Niddle? I still can't believe that there were some Nopon drug barrels just sitting right out here basically in the open. In, granted in a rather isolated corner, but still, they weren't exactly covered up, and I still missed them completely. Witness my irresistible force. Laser focus. Okay. Witness my irresistible force. Hmm. The Princess Glassmaker has her quest. Might as well take it while we're here. Excuse me, have any of you had occasion to visit Torgoth recently? It's just that my instructor left for Torgoth, and I haven't heard back from him since. Oh dear. How long has it been since he left? Weeks now. He told me it was becoming more and more likely that Torna would come under attack. He said he wanted to visit his hometown before the Aegis came and destroyed us all. Can you tell us his name? Yes, of course, it's Terrace. 
He's in his 40s, and he's a bit of a cautious character. He likes his daily walks in the countryside. Oh, and he's got a real passion for glasswork. I can tell he's very important to you. We'll start searching for him right away, don't you worry. You... you will? Absolutely. I know what it's like to have someone you care about on your mind. We'll get Terrace back safe and sound, I promise. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to trouble you. I can be such a warrior. I've been told he lives at the far end of Torrigoth. If you find him, could you tell him his student Charlotte's worried about him? Was it so wise to tell her that, Laura? You know Torrigoth's been... You know. I'm going to make a thorough search and then tell her what we know. Whatever the truth may be. We cannot turn them away. Oh darn it, I didn't want to set that as the active quest. Witness my irresistible force. Now I'm just going to have to hope I remember where all of the rubble piles are. Boy, with all of these available side quests, they're really marking up the map. Omnom here wants food. We cannot turn them away. Okay, so... We might be able to finish this one pretty quickly, too. I do need to go out of the city anyway. Witness my irresistible force. That uh, Fortune Findematron robot is complete. Need to take it back. Witness my irresistible force. Laser focus. be another rubble pile. There it is, straight ahead. This ought to be the last one. Witness my irresistible force. Laser focus. Alright. I'll help myself to another. I'm getting some use out of these. Perhaps I'll have another. This is handy. Okay, I need to cook something for Omnom. I'm not going to clear this little rubble. I'm, okay. Anyway, I need to cook something for Omnom. And I need to take the newly rebuilt Fortune Findematron back to what's her name in the desert. Oh ho, the wreckage is all cleared out then. Thank you very much. With that done, we need only fix up the gardens and the capital will be back to its old glory. The tools and workers I've already assembled, so could you please give our head gardener the go-ahead? He's a man called Bry. He should be waiting in the gardens. Bry is over here, as I recall. Excuse me, are you Bry? Niddles asked us to come tell you to start repairs on the garden. 
Sorry, we're closed for business. Go away. Has something happened? Yes! Yes, it has! And it's all because of my knucklehead son. He's meant to be bringing me sand, not loafing around somewhere. Sand? So you sent your son to fetch sand, is that right? Exactly, from the Harad Hills. I've told him to be careful, and plenty of times too. I wonder what that oaf is doing. It certainly sounds like he may have encountered trouble. We could look for him if you'd let us. Do you have any idea where your son might be? If I did, I wouldn't be having such a hard time. But there is a wooded area on the far side of the hills. Maybe he just got lost in there by mistake? If you happen to find him, could you drag him back here? We need that sand to get on with the work. Right. Well, as I was saying, I need to leave the city. So let's do a quick skip travel. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go there. It's right next to a campsite, so we can cook something for Omnom. And it's not too far away from where we got to take the final Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Aren't we intrepid? Nature makes a fine ally. Another chat. So, Lady Knight, what's the plan now? Ah, don't call me that. Though I do feel like I understand Adam a bit better now. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, Malos has given us some time, our first priority should be to make sure that the people of Torna are safe. In the wake of an attack on the capital, the stability of the country is at its most per precarious. Alleviating any uneasiness on, part of the, on the part of the citizens is indeed a most pressing concern. Yeah. And in doing that, perhaps we'll grow a little stronger too. And let's see what's going on in the capital and with the resistance. Thanks for sticking around, Minoth. I'm sure we'll get end up getting in a lot more scrapes before this is all over. Knowing you, I'm sure we will. Hmm. That sounded kind of sarcastic. I know it'll be worth the wait. Let's see. I think Omnom said she wanted this. It's ready. Okay, let's just stick with that for now. Now, if we do rest... You can lower your team's levels while playing New Game Plus. When you lower their level, you can keep the XP difference as bonus XP. So... Yeah. Wow, that... Remaining bonus XP, 135,000. I go down to level 90. 513,000. I mean, wow. Hugo's only at 509,000. Okay, let's go deliver that find a matron. Go over this way. We ought to be able to drop right down on top of that place we need to go. All right, here's greedy adventurer Palva. So you got it rebuilt? Yep. We can't rightly say if it was successful or not. No, it's bound to work. I know it. Well, I believe it. 
At the very least, I hope. Certainty, certainty decreased rapidly. Dudan will just cross wings and flip switch. Yeah, we should just go for it. You're right. Flip that switch, Dudan, my dude. It's back! Looks like it came back with something. What is it? It's covered in sand. I can't really make it out. I hope it's gold. Will you look? I can't stand the tension. Can we? Yes, please do. What if a monster jumps out at us? That would be really unlikely. Aren't we intrepid? <laughs> like 300 gold. So the legends were true. There really was gold buried in the Dana Desert. Alva's dream came true. Clap, 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 clap. Really? Are you sure the machine didn't just find gold that traveling merchants dropped accidentally? It did seem to be mostly small change. What a buzzkill. I can't believe we didn't find any fabulous wealth after all that effort. I'd made more money if I'd spent my time feeding Armus back home. Ah, cheer up. Dudan had fun, Palva. Yeah, I guess it was pretty fun, wasn't it? Thanks for all your help, everybody. I'm sorry it was all for nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It was an entertaining diversion, to say the least. That's for sure. Dream of gold was beautiful while it lasted. Meh. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Thank you. All right. That's all done. One less problem in the world. All right. Then. Aren't we infected? <sighs> So, next, let's see if I can get to the Lofton Nature Preserve. I mean, I can, but let's see if we can do it quickly. And then from there, head over to the Harad Hills. Before I do that, there's a side quest back in the city that I need to go to Harad Hills for anyway, as memory serves. Pleasant stroll. You remember our destination, don't you? Oh, and Omnom? Here's your Ferris quote lettuce. Ah, full, full up now. Great thinkings. I'm not feel like I just eat more than stomach size suggests possible, but that's surely just imagination. Now for dessert. Even feminine nom pond like Omnom have room for dessert. Looking forward to bringing up dessert. Will be very tasty. Uh, okay, what? Rich platinum bonbons. I'm not using those anymore. Whoa, that brings them brings her right up. Stuff to bursting. This, that, all delicious Omnom shower you with thanks. Having chance to eat so many much Omnom more stuff with knowledge about food and cooking than ever. Hope we'll be able to put to good use sometime. For example, could get job where Omnom visit restaurant in every land of all rest and write about tasty flavors. Or maybe teach recipes for cooking all yummy yummies that Omnom ate in some kind of yummy classroom. But reports and students just take time away from eat. How about do contests where Omnom sit and judge food? Ah, all this cogitation make Tum Tum of Omnon go grumbly hungry again. Ogarkon, please bring menu. Hmm. 
You have my thanks. Okay. That is now done. Is Always that happy middle of the table right next to us? Looks like him. Okay, so insect loving boy Marcus. As I recall, this side quest takes us to Harad Hills. No use, it's never gonna work. Oh look who it is. Hello again, friend. How are you guys? Marcus, wasn't it? You were looking a bit lost there. Need any help? Huh? Oh, nah, not really. You're not fooling anyone. You sounded really upset just now. Don't try to pass it off as something unimportant. Indeed. Why don't you tell us the problem, Marcus? We might even be able to do something about it. Hey, Adam. You're sticking your nose in other people's business again. Quit it. No, Mithra. It always pays to help out your fellow man. You never know when you might need help in return. That's a fair point, I guess, but still. So, Marcus, care to tell us what's on your mind? You know what? This is taking too long. Let's just charge through it. He wants to uh, build a machine that can uh, draw bugs. to draw in bugs. The Bug Catcher Turbotron BGX 5000. Okay, so he wants sunset brackets. Poison their toys. And then once we get him those... Let's see what we have here. He wants us to take the contraption to Harad Hills and test it out there. The fabled Bug Catcher Turbotron BGX 5000. So he's looking for bugs in the Harad Hills and wants us to take his machine out there. Okay. So with that, let's go to the Dinar region. To this skip travel point right here. And then run on a pleasant stroll. Over you here remember our destination, don't you? To the Lofton Nature Preserve. Aren't we intrepid? And from there, down to the uh, lower area that we need to go to to test this invention and also find that guy who's looking for sand for the garden. This is becoming addictive. Well, here we are. We made good time. already got this treasure chest. Alright. Okay, so there's a side quest marker. Pleasant stroll. But we'll be getting to that you in the next episode. You remember our destination, don't you? Because we're out of time. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. A yeah, fairly productive episode. We uh, pushed along with the main quest.
discovered that yes indeed we do need to do side quests to get to the next part so yeah we're gonna have to spend some more time on that but uh at, boy those little things can push me off right around that's pretty <laughs> pretty amazing well <clears throat> anyway in the next episode more side quests hopefully we'll be able to get through that without too much trouble uh, at least we already basically know what the side quests are, so yeah, we can blast through them pretty quickly. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.